Hello guys, how are you doing? It's Ahmed Jamayana today and um, on this episode, I'm going to show you how to open up your IC Markets broker account. Um, so gain a competitive edge with this amazing, you know, true ECN Forex spreads from 0.0, .0 pips. Um, for those of you from the Islamic faith as well, um, we have that covered here. Um, and the spreads are really, really tight. So everything that you need uh, for a reputable broker, you know, this company is, um, you know, regulated. Um, it's based in Australia as well, so you could you know trade with any currency that you wish and not worry about high spreads. Okay, so when you um, click on the link um, below, what you want to do is you want to open a um, your broker account. Now it doesn't matter if you want to open a live account or a demo account. If you do decide you want to open you know try a demo account it will also give you the facility to also open a live account for when you are ready so for today's demonstration purposes i'm going to click on try a demo account to show you how simple it is to get started with ic markets okay guys so click on try a demo and that's going to take you to the registration page so what you want to do is you want to just fill in your name your surname, enter your email address. And tick this receive newsletter and then enter your, your mobile number in. Okay. And in this box, um, if you can just kindly tick this box to say you was referred by an introducing broker and you know enter this number that is my referral link uh, just to say that I referred you to this um, broker and, and then accept the declaration and submit and that's going to take you to the second page and there you have it guys you have your uh, demo account set up make sure that you select MT4 I recommend you choose a you know true ECN account Choose whatever currency base that you're, you know, you would like to use. For this example, I'm going to use Great British Pounds. Choose your leverage. You know, go through the education and you know what leverage is. I'm not going to explain that on this video. I'm going to leave that on one to five hundred, and I'm going to, you know, just choose a initial deposit of, you know, one thousand, and then proceed. It's really that simple. You would then receive your credentials. Um, in your email address with your login and your password and the server that you need to connect to on your MetaTrader 4 whether it is your smartphone device or your laptop or tablet that's the details that you need to connect to the demo account that you just created and while you are at it if you want to open a live trading account you just simply just fill in the last information that's missing which is the date of birth Click on the date of birth that you chose. I just selected a random date of birth there, guys. Enter your address details and the postcode, and then simply go on to the next step. Once you've gone to the next step, what you want to do is just fill in the financial information about yourself. It doesn't really matter. Um, there's no right or wrong answers here, guys. Um, so what is your total estimated annual income? You could choose less than ten thousand, you know, fifty to ten to fifty thousand. I'm just going to choose ten to fifty thousand. What is your total estimated net worth? If I'm just going to say ten to fifty thousand. Employment status. I'm going to say self-employed. Industry. Just click on financial services and banking. Trading experience. If you have no trading experience, just click on zero. You know, I myself have three years, so I'm just going to select one to three years type of instruments you have traded in the last two years forex future and options commodities cdf it doesn't matter what you choose you can not even select anything you can just select forex if you wish and go to the next step once you go to the next step it's gonna you know request what type of account that you um, want i recommend you know you choose mt4 make sure you always choose mt4 here Choose the currency base that you wish to use. I'm going to leave this as Great British Pounds and the account type. 
I would recommend you guys get a true ECN account, okay? Um, and then just simply choose your security um, question and answer. And I'm just going to write what's your favorite color. Fill in the details in here. Tick this box, uh, the declaration box, and then click on submit. So once you've done that, you're now in the back office of your account. All you need to do is upload your documents to verify your account. As you can see, the status here is your temporary account. You have a temporary account, okay, guys? So what you want to do is you want to either tick this button uh, here, let's say up upload. So please upload your documents, or you can upload your documents here. So you can email them or upload it later. So if you do decide to tick that, you can do that later on. So all your account details are here. If you do decide, you know, you want to open additional demo accounts, it's here. If you ever need to change your profile details, like your account details, you want to upload the documents, you could find it there. If you want to change your password, you could click on this here. And I highly recommend that as well. So if you go into your email, you will receive a temporary password. You could copy that and then just click on change password. Click on the old password, enter the new password, update is really that simple. Um, you know, if you want to click on settings, there's more information on settings. If you want to collect your social media account, platform credentials, all your information will be here. So for that demo account that I just created, I'm not going to use this anyway, but it was just for demonstration purposes. You would enter this account number into MetaTrader 4. But the first thing you would need to do is you need to search for this server ID. And it's case sensitive, so make sure you do select, you know, capital ICM and then lowercase a r k e t s hyphen capital D E M O zero two. Once you've selected the the server, enter your account number and then your password and log in, and you're good to go. Okay, guys, it's really that simple. Once you have verified your account, this little red bar will go all the way to green. I recommend that you up, um, send a, a picture of your passport, your bank statements, and whichever card that you do decide to fund with. So if you want to just click on deposit funds, there's so many ways that you could actually deposit your funds. And as you can see, m most of the options that you're going to select, there's no fee whatsoever with this broker. One of the amazing things that I love about them. If you do want to fund with Skrill, you have that option, Nutella, uh, you know, Bankwire. But, you know, just simply, you can even fund, you know, by PayPal now with this broker. But majority of the time, people will, will be selecting fund now with a credit or debit card. What you need to do with this is very simple, okay? You just simply select add new account debit card. For this um, section, I would recommend that you do it on your phone. Why? Because you could take a picture from your mobile. And all you need to do is enter the first six numbers and the last four numbers. And with the picture that you do take, you could, you know, um, wipe off the additional numbers that it's not requesting and then, you know, upload that for, you know, for extra security for those of you that might be worried. Uh, select what type of card it is and, and then simply upload the documents from your phone. Okay, guys, you can use any um, app uh, to edit photos. You know, myself, I use Pixel, uh, P-I-X-L-R, and then, you know, just upload the documents that you just took a picture of, which is your bank card, and then just scribble off the, the numbers that is not the first six and the last four, and then uh, upload that document. Okay, guys, once you have uploaded that, you upload the documents will show here with the status. Once it's approved, you're good to go and start trading once you're ready to go on a live account. So guys, there you have it. Any other information, please reach out to me, comment, uh, message us in the groups, Facebook group, uh, or the Telegram groups as well that we do have. You also have you know, the account management section here. You can open a new live account, open an additional demo account. If you ever want to change your leverage or change account password, that's all available for you here, okay guys? Thank you very much for hopping on this call. I'll see you on the next video. Take care, guys.